I'm Ahmed Hassan, and I've been involved in construction most of my life, typically on the supervising side, but I've never been involved with micro trenching. Today, I'll be embedded with the crew and learn all there is to know about this innovative process. But I can't pop these until nine o'clock. Yeah. Supposedly, trenching, conduit installation, and backfill is all gonna get completed in one day. I'm excited to check out the process for myself and see how it really works. You must be Chris, huh? Hi, hi, man. How Pleasure, are you? Chris. Nice to meet you. Jake, nice to find you. Nice to meet you in person. So, none of us are new to construction, but you guys specialize in this whole thing called micro trenching. Well, we welcome Today you. I get to do that. Today right? you get to do that. <laughs> so, Jake, we're putting in micro trenching and we're using it for fiber optics. Yeah, typically it's used for fiber optics. Okay. Everyone looks at wireless as, you know, it don't need wires. It actually needs fiber to backhaul the services of that wireless right. technology. So, this is all about technology and improving the services in this local community. Correct. Now we all look like we're on the same team. Yes, sir. Let's go out here and look at what you guys got going on. All right. It right, looks like the crew is set up waiting on you. So what do we got going on here, yeah, Chris? Yeah, we have our trenchers set up and we have the blade, which we've done our plunge cut to test the depth. Okay. And uh, we're gonna get ready to cut this morning and we're gonna take about a 600 foot run down the street here. And uh, the day actually started on a prior day where we came through and we GPR'd the entire street, which is a ground penetrating radar to identify the utilities that are in the street. I've identified the locations where we think we're gonna have a crossing problem. Yeah. And we do the process called potholing. Got it. So we have no interaction with any of the other utilities. So no steel plates covering the street, road closures, no, none of that's we, involved. That's the, that's the whole reason for doing the trench the way we do it. We don't have the typical trench that's closed the road. And at the end of the day, everything's reinstated and back open to the traveling wow. public. Wow, this is pretty fabulous. Jimmy, you're ready, huh? All right, All right. I, I think we should stop talking. Let's, Let's get on go. with the process, huh? Our typical depth that we're gonna to go today is 16 inches deep, and okay. we're gonna go two inches wide to put three inch and a quarter conduit in. That's it. That's, that's all it. that's necessary. And we go right down the street. You're able to drive across it with cars, bikes, and pedestrians with no time. problem the entire time. Emergency vehicles are always able to get across. Nice. And what's really great, traffic has kept right on flowing. I've really never seen a construction process this many feet go that fast. It's like a rapid parade. Oh, there you go. There it is. The conduit for the fiber goes into the trench. Fiber will bring enterprise level networking services to the area and feed a new small cell network. It'll also prepare the community for 5G and smart city technology. This is the way of the future. It's the way of the future. And it looks like you can put thousands Absolutely. of these strands in the Absolutely. ground. Absolutely, yeah. We can put you know a couple hundred uh, strands of fiber up to over a thousand now. Strands That's of fiber in a cable about this size. It carries video, voice, data. It's unlimited what it can carry. That's good. You don't want to touch this stuff. It's very right. sticky. It's like extremely strong super glue. There's one more product that has to go over the top, and we're out of here. And these lanes are going to be opened up in what, yeah. the next five, 10 minutes? Yeah, we're getting ready to pick up the lanes and this get off awesome. the road, and uh, we had a successful day. Yep. And the municipality's got all the data they need for Absolutely. the future. And then some. It's pretty impressive. It's like we were never even here. I mean, that's the thing about micro trenching. Whether you're a city, county, or local municipality, to do this type of work on this larger scale and keep the flow of traffic moving, that's really the added benefit. We'll see you in your city soon.